you kids break this up. Now I told you before. You break it up. Shut up! You kids ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Acting like a bunch of jackasses. Now I'm gonna tan me some hides if you ain't off this street by the time I count five. One, two, three, four. Now, Charlie, they won't bother you no more. At least why not today. Taking care of Charlie is taking up a lot of your time. Well, maybe she'll wet him. The white man sure is funny. Now, if an Indian chooses to fight him, he's a murdering savage. If he don't, he's a yellow-livered coward, a squaw. Kind of hard to understand, isn't it? He was judged by his own people, not us. That's none of our business. Still owe you a drink. Oh, thanks. I've got work to do. Don't do it, Lamb. You are nothing but trouble, are you? Now, you wanted to go in that saloon and get a drink, you go on. Go on, get your hat and go on. I don't like you say. It just ain't our problem, is it? Say one thing for you, Charlie. You know a good horse when you see one. Sure. It's a good horse. No, I, I don't think that's what little Joe meant, Charlie. I think he meant to say that when you steal one, you steal a good one. Charlie, no steal horse. No, what are you doing? Just exercising him, or didn't you see the brand? Charlie, if you'd have wanted a horse, how come you didn't ask us for it? Why did you just take it? Charlie, not steal horse. Find horse stuck in mud. Free him. I don't see no mud on him now. Charlie, clean him good. Then take him to friend Ben Cartwright after take Reed's to hut. Are you sure you didn't have any other plans for him? No. Charlie, tell truth. Uh, having a meeting? Found Charlie taking one of our horses. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Ben Cartwright. Well? Does Ben Cartwright believe Charlie's still horse of friend? No, he would not believe it. Make Charlie feel good. Charlie, I think the boys made an honest mistake. Yeah, maybe so. Just an honest mistake. Why don't you boys ride on ahead? Charlie and I, we've got a little visiting to do. Right. 
Ben Cartwright, you come with Charlie. I show you, Mudhole. Oh, Charlie, you don't have to do that, I believe you. Please, I show you we're horse stuck in mud. Come. See? Moccasin, horse, broken reed. Yeah. Yeah, no wonder the horse got stuck. Haven't seen the water this high in years. All that good rain we've been having, Charlie, that means the grazing will be the best I can remember. That is beautiful. Big and beautiful. Charlie must go. Take Reed's to little girl. I teach to weave Paiute basket. Charlie! John, I want you to have that horse is yours. Charlie, not take. Please. Thank Ben Cartwright, but not take horse. Charlie, you and your people, you believe that if you save a life, for the rest of time, you're responsible for that life. Isn't that so? Well, you saved that horse's life, didn't you? is gift from friend. <laughs> now we can take rides together, can't we, Charlie? Let's take one now. As soon as you finish your basket. Now, come. Now. Let us see what your little fingers will remember. You know, Charlie, I wish I didn't have to go to school. I learned much more just being with you. <laughs> what Charlie can teach you is of no use in your world. That's not true, Charlie. Besides, my world's going to be just the same as yours. Little one, your world and my world can never be the same. I'd find you here. How many times do I have to tell you to stay away from that filthy, sappy... Hey, Charlie! He's Charles. He's my friend! You just go get in that buggy right now, young lady. Go! He's my friend! Get that buggy! He's You dirty, low-down animal. You leave her alone or I'll horsewhip you.
Ms. Hale? Angela? When are you men gonna do something about that filthy Indian back there? Beg pardon, ma'am? Look, I'm just a widow woman. But if I was a man, I'd have run him out of the territory a long time ago. Charlie been bothering you, ma'am. Well, he's a... he's a bad influence. Especially on children like Angela here. Look how he lives back there in that hovel, like a savage. Charlie's my friend! Will you shut up? We agree with everything you say, Miss Hale. But unfortunately, there ain't no law against being an Indian. <laughs> well, if I were a man, I'd make one. Come on, get it. Let's go. You sure riled up, ain't she, boss? Yeah, a lot of people feel like that about Charlie. Like you said, there ain't no law. Ran into Mrs. Hale down the road, Charlie. Said she's got a complaint against you. Says you're a bad influence on the kids in town. Say, where'd old Charlie get a good-looking horse like that? Look at that brand. That's Cartwright's Ponderosa. So now it's horse stealing, huh, Squaw? Answer the man, Squaw. Where'd you get the horse, Squaw? Horses gift from friend. Yeah. Well, that's a likely story. <laughs> You know, Injun, there, uh, there is a law against horse deal. But maybe a little exercise will get the truth out of it. Try him. How about it, Injun? You want to tell us about the horse? Like I, I say, friend. What's more around, Buck? Come with me to the sheriff, Charlie. We'll file a complaint against these fellas and make it stick. Complaint? That engine had this horse. Look at it. It's got your brand on it. I know. I gave it to him. You gave it to him? That's right. I want you to ride on. You're beginning to make me feel sick. Look, Cartwright. Shut up. Now, be reasonable, Ben. We were only trying to look after your interests. Sure you were. You're trying to kill him? Well, what's it to you? We should have chased him out of town and back to his tribe a long time ago. What's the matter, Claggett? Does it bother your conscience to see an Indian sitting on some land that once used to belong to his people? You graze the land and drink the water, too, Ben. Yes, I do. And I also belong to a committee that's trying to get Washington to give the Piutes back some of their land. Give it back? That's right. We didn't take the land from them. No, you didn't. But you sure act as if you knew it didn't belong to them anymore. All right. All right, Indian lover. That's up to you. But it's a good thing for the territory that most people think like I do than like you do. Let's move. Sorry, Charlie. After you left, I got the feeling you probably had some trouble riding into Virginia City in a Ponderosa brand on the side. I made out a bill of sale for you. Yeah. Those men will make trouble for you, Ben Cartwright. 
Charlie does not want to cause you trouble. Oh, and they're not going to make any trouble for me. You stay out of their way for a while, you hear? Ben Cartwright. Now we gotta do something about that engine. Oh, uh, who pays any real attention to old Charlie? Ben Cartwright, for one. Sheriff Coffee. And as you should remember, Adam Cartwright. Yeah, I ain't forgotten that engine lover. You know, that Charlie's real cunning. Never fighting back. Talking about the land of his ancestors. Impresses some people. But a dead Charlie ain't gonna impress nobody. Don't be stupid. There's other ways of handling him. Now, who gets picked up and blamed for everything that's missing in Virginia City? Yeah, <laughs> Charlie. Huh? That's right, Squad Charlie. I've made you trouble, haven't I, Charlie? Since Charlie come live with your people, you have made the sun shine in Charlie's heart. Why do people pick on you? Why don't they love you as I do? Maybe it's like books say. Only pure heart can see no evil. Maybe only children. But those children in town were yelling at you. Oh, oh, those children don't listen to their heart. They try to be like their elders who, whose eyes grow blind as they grow older. Well, I won't be like that when I grow up. I'll still love you. And I will help your people, just like you're trying to do. That is good, little one. And you will help my people. Now, you must go. But I'll come back. You must never come back here, ever. Why? Why? Why can't I be your friend forever and ever? Oh, little one. You can be my friend. But you, you must understand one thing. As you grow older, sometimes to be friend you must hurt a friend. Now go. Little one. Yes, Charlie. You will finish basket? Yes, Charlie. I will finish the basket. <laughs> Look, Paul, we're sorry we jumped on him so fast, but he looked suspicious. He looked suspicious. Well, that's the whole point. Anytime anything goes wrong, anytime a crime is committed, you take one look at Charlie, he looks suspicious, so he must be guilty. Paul, we're sorry. We, we didn't mean no harm. Incidentally, on the practical side, how's the Indian Committee coming along? Oh, we should be hearing from Washington any day now. I'll get it. Ben. Hey, Roy. Come on in. What are you doing around here this part of the day? 
Ben. Little Angela Hale has disappeared. Angela? And there's a hot-headed mob in town that's blaming it on Charlie. Blaming Charlie? Well, they ought to know better than that. He wouldn't harm that little girl. But they're sure it was Charlie, on account of Angela's mother really ripped into him today with some kind of hard words. There's search parties out now, but come dark and they ain't found her, I'm gonna have an awful tough time keeping that mob away from Charlie. I believe I better pick him up for safekeeping. Just what we were talking about. Exactly. Something goes wrong, blame Charlie. Well, you, you better pick him up. I'll, I'll, I'll see you in town. All right, fine. Thank you, Ben. I'll saddle the horses. I'm going with you. All right. We'll go along with you, too, Pa. No, I think you boys better join the search for Angela. She's probably... Riding the little pony of hers should be easy to track. All right, Charlie, now. Let's try it once more. Was there anybody around when she left that could have seen her? Charlie, see her leave. Charlie sent her away. Something bad happened to her. It's Charlie's fault. No, it's not your fault. Probably nothing happened to her anyway. He said she was upset when she left. There was much unhappiness. Much sorrow. Well, maybe she just ran off to be alone for a while. No, something bad has happened to the little one. Charlie, feel it here. You let me out, Ben Cartwright. There's a crowd gathering out there that tear you apart. She's Charlie's friend. Charlie, find her. Bring her back. You let me out, Ben Cartwright. I can't. And they're gathering over the town hall. told you to tear your part out there. Come on, I'm gonna have to lock you up for your own protection. Come on, Charlie. You're not Charlie's friend. Roy, we better get over there before they come over here. Keep an eye on Charlie. I want you all to go home. Now, none of you know for sure that anything has happened to little Angela. For all we know, she just wandered off into the woods. You know, I I've known most of you for, for a long time. And for as long as I've known you, you've always been fair and just and honorable people. Get to the point, Cartwright. All right, I will. The point is that you're convicting a man without a shred of evidence that he's guilty. If he's say innocent, how come he's in jail? Wait a minute, folks, I'll answer that. Charlie's in jail to protect him from a mob like this. Now, I suggest that we all go home and let Sheriff Coffee handle this. I'm asking you as a friend. Friend? <laughs> It's your friendship for this squaw man that's caused all this, Cartwright. It's your friendship that's kept him out of jail a long time before now. I say we try the Indian. Try him now! Cartwright, I'll win! Wait I'm gonna warn you all. If there's any violence, I'll blow the man in half that's responsible for it. We want that Indian, Roy. One way or another, we want that Indian. Yeah. I would like to hear 
what Mrs. Hale has to say about this. Miss Hale? I, I don't want to see no lynching, Roy. But I want to see justice done. And I want to see it done now. You'll see justice done, believe me. With a judge and a jury. But first, we've got to determine whether or not a crime has been committed. She said now, Roy. What does that mean? You want a trial right here and now? That's right. Well, that's ridiculous. <clears throat> There's no proof that anything has happened to Angela or that Charlie had anything to do with it. And even if you did have proof, Charlie would certainly be entitled to time enough to prepare a defense. What defense did my child have? How much time did she have to prepare herself? Mrs. Hale, I think you're being a little unreasonable. There are search parties out right now looking for Angela. You might at least give them a chance to get back here with some kind of news. Why don't you shut up, Cartwright? This trial is simple. If he's innocent, we find him innocent. If he's guilty, we hang him. Now listen, bud. Now listen. Charlie is staying in my jail, and nobody is touching him until I get some real proof. Oh, no. Oh, dear God in heaven. No. Roy. Where'd you pick these up? Down by the marsh. The marsh where Charlie gets his reeds. I hope you're satisfied now. <laughs> They said to tell you they're ready, whether you are or not. Thanks, Bob. If things get out of hand, will you let Charlie go before they get to him? Ben, if I did a thing like that, that mob would tear us apart. And that's exactly what they are, a mob, capable of anything. It's Charlie's only chance. He could track Angela down, you know that. Yeah, but... He deserves the chance, and we'd better give it to him. Well, I'd like Listen to... Listen to me, Roy. If those search parties find Angela alive and well, and Charlie dead, we won't be able to live with ourselves, you know that. Ben, I gotta think about this. Well, you think about it hard and deep. Adam, you stay here. Now, keep an eye on me, and I'll give you a signal. If I take my hat off, you let him go. Ms. Hale? Ms. Hale, did you see me this afternoon? Down on the South Road. Down on the South Road. You was on your way home from Squaw Charlie's, and you had little Angela with you. And you was upset about something. What was it? Squaw Charlie. You told me he was a bad influence on the children in town, especially little Angela. Do you recognize these, Miss Hale? 
they belong to my little girl. And this basket? That's the one she was working on down at Charlie's today. Ms. Hale, did little Angela take this basket home with her this afternoon? Well, that means that sometime between the time that little Angela disappeared and Buck found these, she went back to Squaw Charlie's to get this basket. And he was the last person to see her alive. Mrs. Hale, that's only circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial? An innocent little girl. Beloved by her mother. It's gone. Her blood stains these articles. They were found down by the marsh. I told her time and time and again not to go down there with him, but she didn't listen. Now she's dead. Well, there's no proof of that. We've got all the proof we need. I... I am not a vindictive woman, but a brutal crime has been committed here. A little tiny girl has been destroyed. And, and my heart is just as, as dead as my child's. <laughs> Charlie, loose, Charlie. If you don't find her, we're all in trouble. Big trouble. Do not worry. Charlie will find her. There can only be one verdict. And it's up to you good people of Virginia City to deliver it. Now, I think I know what it's going to be. But you tell me. Guilty! 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 anything legal about these proceedings at all. Faggot, if you think you can take Charlie, you'll come it through my gun. And mine. Come on, Roy. You've got the sun down, you hear? Then we're coming after that Indian, and you ain't got enough guns to stop us. Ah, Dad burning nothing, Joe. Well, let's try on down by the lake area. Sunset in an hour. Maybe our last if Charlie doesn't get back. The engine's gone. You sure? No one in the cell. That's them Cartwrights doing. 
Well, they'll pay you, and they'll pay plenty. Wait a minute, where are you going? Tell the crowd. Don't be a fool. What good would that do us? We want Charlie dead. And that crowd can't hang him if he's gone. I got a hunch Charlie's trying to track that kid down himself. And we can't have Charlie or that kid to get back here and talk. We can't kill a kid, boss. Look, we're in this up to here. Now, would you rather it be you? Lim, get after that shack before Charlie does. Go on, go on. Let's quiet that crowd down a little before they find out Charlie's gone and start rushing around trying to find him before Lem does. Check. She ain't going nowhere. She's sick. She's lying in there like she's half dead. Claggett better hurry up and get this thing over with. That's what I'm here for. Now, the Indian's escaped. It'll take me a while to track us down here, but he will be an Indian. And when he gets here, but once I'm killed. Meantime, I'll take care of the kid. Hey, now, wait a minute. I don't want no part of killing a kid. But it looks like you got no choice, Hank. should be back by now. What could have happened to him? All right, Roy. The sun's going down. You're going to give us our hanging or ain't you? because there's no one here to hang. Charlie's gone. We let him go. You let him go? That's right, Martha. We let him go. You didn't give us any choice. 
Uh, no. <laughs> the man says there isn't anyone here to hang. The man's wrong, Annie he, fellas? Yeah. Yeah. Listen to me, please. My baby! My baby! Well, there he is, fellas. What are we waiting for? There you are! Yeah. 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 I said wait! What are we gonna do now? Oh. We're gonna shut his mouth. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> you, you filthy, dirty, murdering savage! She's not dead. Little one, sick, is too much for her. Ben, I thought he killed her. Go for it! I I'm sorry, Ben. I I'm sorry. You knew, Claggett. You knew if she was dead, it wasn't Charlie that killed her. It was you. Because Charlie found her at your line shack right before we got there. No, honest, I, I, I didn't know. I I'm sorry, Ben. I, I didn't know. All right, come on. You don't deserve it, but you're going to get that legal trial that you tried so hard to deny Charlie. Come on, Buck. I'm sorry, Charlie. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's get him to a doctor quick. No. No. Squaw Charlie. Almost no more. There never was a squaw, Charlie. Only a good, honest brave. Red Eagle. I'm proud he's my friend. Red Eagle? Red Eagle. Charlie has not heard in a long time. Hey, Charlie, sorry he cannot do all things he wants for his people. I promise you. I promise you that your people will get some of their land back. Will, will good friend Ben Cartwright tell Charlie one more time? Great spirit, ah, uh -uh. yeah. in the green grass and valley, yeah. and still water. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy... Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. 
and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.